Today I'm going to be showing you 10 printable mods for your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. Some of these are actual printer mods itself, like this one right here. Others are tools that will help you with your printing journey. Either way, all of them take less than one hour to print, and I will have the link to all of the Maker Worlds in the description down below so you can go and print these for yourself. Now this is a sequel to my original Bamboo Lab A1 Mini first modifications video. If you watch that video, you'll recognize this handle right here, this camera mount, and this chain back here. I've had all of those on this entire time, absolutely zero issues. If you haven't checked that video out yet, I'd highly recommend you go check it out first and then come back to this one. Now I really hate to be that guy, but last time I checked we're about 15 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. You know what to do, right? Just, just go tap it. That's it. With all that being said, let's jump into these 10 mods. Here we have the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, which is already an absolute beast of a 3D printer. But there's a couple of things that we could print out for it to make it work better and last a lot longer and they all take less than one hour. If you are coming from that other A1 Mini Mods video, you may notice something a little bit new over here. Yes, I did get the AMS light system for the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. I absolutely love it. You can go check out my first impressions and unboxings of that up in the corner there. The first mod we're going to look at today took one gram of filament and seven minutes to print. Here it is right here. Now this thing is absolutely tiny but it solves a pretty big problem. If we look up here to the business end of this thing, some people have had problems with this not ejecting the filament properly, and I've actually had that issue quite a few times. I've never been able to catch it on camera, but it'll try to extrude filament right here where it's not on the correct side, and then it'll just spit it out onto the build plate, and it could mess up your entire print. This little print solves that whole problem by attaching right here, whoops, by attaching right here, and it has a little knob on it that helps push this lever just a little bit more so that it always works correctly. To throw this on, you need a little bit of double-sided tape. However, I only have one-sided tape, so we're just gonna make it work. Stick that on just like that. Now, if you watch, you can see that that knob just helps press that lever just a little bit more to make sure that it properly cycles every single time. Now this next mod did take quite a bit longer than that last seven minute print. This right here took a total of eight minutes to print out and one gram of filament. This little guy will help you lubricate all three axes of the A1 Mini as you can see here. Now I printed this in PLA, but it would definitely benefit from a little bit more of a bendy, malleable material. And finally, here's how it'll work on the third axe here. Just a great tool, eight minutes of your time, less than a gram of filament, and it keeps your hands clean and your machine running good. We can also throw this in our little storage bin here from the last video. This next modification, or tool in this case, is gonna take you 11 minutes to print and again, only one gram of filament. Now, it may not be very obvious what this thing does just yet, but if we head over to some of the Bowden tubes, things might become a little bit more clear. Sometimes these Bowden tubes can be a real struggle to get out if you need to change them out or remove the AMS system for whatever reason. All you gotta do is take this tool, pop it over the Bowden tube like that, and press down and your Bowden tube will pop right off. Now I still have filament in here, so I can't completely take it off, but just as an example, you can see how easy that was. And you can also flip it over and use the other side right here. Again, this is another tool that I'm gonna be throwing into my toolbox to always keep handy. This next print is going to take 15 minutes to print and again, only one gram of filament. You can use this to add a little bit of pop, a little bit of color to your printer if you'd like, and it also serves a functional purpose. If we take a look at our print head, you may notice that we have a fan right here and absolutely nothing to cover it up. That's where this comes in. Adds a bit of color, super easy to install, pop it on there, and now it'll stop a little bit of debris from getting into that fan. We're gonna be breaking the 30 minute mark with our next print right here. This thing takes a total of 31 minutes and 23 grams of filament, and it's actually printed in vase mode, which is just kind of interesting. This right here is gonna be used on our AMS light system, so if you don't have the AMS system, you can just go ahead and skip this one. If you decide to use any other filament besides the Bamboo Labs filament, you might run into an issue where the rolls don't exactly fit correctly on that AMS system. The solution to that is this right here. Now this is a universal filament adapter, so all we're gonna do is slide this into our filament roll just like that. And then we're gonna pop it on our AMS system like normal. And now it fits 
very well and we can feed it and load different color filaments and different brand filaments as we please. This next one is gonna take 15 grams of filament and 43 minutes of your time. If you swap nozzles a lot, this is a must print right here. It keeps all of your nozzles nice and close. You can see exactly what they are. We got our 0.4 and our 0.6 hardened nozzle. Super easy to see what you're working with and it keeps them very close to the print head for easy exchanges. Next we have a 45 minute print here that is going to hopefully prevent you from having to buy something in the future. This right here is a super simple print to stop your AMS coupler from overbending. So if we head up here, let's get started on this thing. I know that this is a cheap part and you can buy replacements for it on the Bamboo Lab website. However, I've seen a lot of people complain that this piece is breaking on them because it overbends and it moves a little bit too much. This print right here limits the amount of movement that it can do and will hopefully prevent it from overbending and requiring you to purchase a new one. All this does is slide over top, just like that. And you can see it already limits the amount of movement that this thing can do. Now make sure that you slide this piece all the way down because I did not when I just installed this thing. And when it's properly installed, it will significantly decrease the amount of movement that this thing can do. All we have to do now is reinstall our Bowden tubes. Next, we have another print to help prevent overbending of these cables. This one is going to cost you six grams of filament and 48 minutes of time. Again, we're going to head back up here. Now, I printed this in PLA and you can see there is still plenty of movement on this piece right here. And all it does is slide over this cable. And again, make sure you slide it all the way down. And then you're just going to work the power cable around this coil here until it's all in the center. Just like that. And again, make sure that this is pressed down all the way, just like the last one. Not only will this try to help keep your power cable from over bending, it'll also keep it up high a little bit more and hopefully stop it from snagging on items. The second to last mod here is gonna take up almost your entire A1 mini build plate, 49 minutes of time and 31 grams of filament. This right here is gonna be a cover for your Y axis. Now you can't keep this on while you're printing, however, if you need to put this in storage or you need to travel with it or move it around, this is the perfect solution right here. Not only does it act as a dust cover to keep dust and particles from getting into your Y axis, it also locks the bed to help limit movement and possible damage while transporting this thing. And just wanna make it clear that you are not able to print with this on. It's simply for transporting the machine and keeping dust out while you're not using it. And the last print here is going to take 58 minutes and 19 grams of filament. And I'm pretty sure you can already tell what this is. If you can't tell, this is a scraper right here to help you get some of your stuck on prints off of the build plate. What I like about this scraper compared to some others is that it uses a printed blade compared to a metal blade that you'd have to go buy. So this just slides right on in. If I flip it the right way, slides right on in just like that. Now you have a perfect scraper to get items off of your build plate that may be stuck on from a brim or from high temperatures, whatever it is, this is a super awesome print and it's plastic so it won't ruin your build plate. The other thing I love about this scraper is that you can print a bunch of these blades and just have them lying around. Whenever one seems to go dull on you, just swap them out. They only take a couple minutes to print. Now this is another one that I am gonna be throwing in our storage bin right here and uh, this thing's getting pretty full but I'm sure we can find some more tools to print for it later. There you have it there are 10 modifications for your Bamboo Lab A1 Mini that all take less than one hour to print. Let me know what you think of these mods in the comments down below. Let me know if you think I missed anything that should be addressed. If there's any modifications that you like for this printer that I should go check out. Of course, I would love to make a part three to these modification videos. I could make some that take over one hour to print, get some really big prints going on this really tiny build plate here, maybe some multi-plate prints. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments down below. Ask any questions you'd like about me, about the printer, about the modifications. I'd be happy to answer them. At least give your comment a like. I try to like and heart every single comment that I get. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for checking it out.